Okay, YouTubers, decided to publish another video today, preparing for the breeding season. You can't really tell what I've got in here because of the wire. It's a pair of red siskins. Um, what we'll do is we'll go on the other ovary first, then we'll walk around. So this this video is going to be slightly longer than others. In here are my oriental green finch pair. Well, I got one pair in there, then I got a trio in this other ovary here. Um, in this one, next to the to the right of the blue pool tubing there is my trio of yellow siskins and then in this little section here we've got a variety of finches jacarinis gold finches and my red zebras that i'm trying to project breed okay what else do we have got the pair of lineolated parrots in there settling nicely um, i moved them out of the aviary recently because i thought they could do with going to say it, they respond better to a cabinet environment rather than the aviary I found. As soon as I put them back in this cabinet, they were in the nest box within, literally within a couple of hours. Down the bottom here i got my yellow siskin pair cage, which is in desperate need of a clean, so please don't judge me based on this video. And I've got my yellow siskin and goldfinch pair, so they're the pair I'm going to put up for mewling this year. The hens have already started going in and out of the nest recently, so... That's a good sign. Let's have a look actually. We'll start in this aviary first. So you can see I've got a lot of clutter to get rid of. First section. Ugh. This one's dedicated wholly and solely to my red siskin pair. As you can see, they're in top breeding quality at the moment. The male's glowing red. Uh, probably a couple months off breeding at the moment, to be honest, but um, they're in their own little aviary, 1.7 deep by one meter wide, so plenty of space for one pair of siskins, and typical, as per last year, they're gonna breed in a little bit of brush like this. More than likely gonna to have to clean it up, but because it's looking a bit soiled there. Okay, let's go to the next aviary. Okay, what do we have here? Too much in one aviary. I've got my red zebras in here also. Wouldn't be able to tell because of all the clutter in here. I did have a whole heap of other finches in here, but I sold them recently. What I'm looking to do is just keep a pair of gold finches, the ones that bred in here last year, a pair of yellow siskins, which have done well with the gold finches for me in the past, and two pairs of zebras. The canaries that are flapping about at the moment, that green German roller and that very aggressive white thing are gonna be going shortly. Over here, what you'll notice is a nest of red zebras. You can just see the young in there. They're about probably three or four days old, so I'm gonna leave those. And to be honest, I'm pretty stoked with that nest. That nest is the first nest I had from my very red male that I bred last year. He was the best of all that I bred. Um, so I'm really excited about the outcome of that pairing anyway. So we'll see what happens. Who knows what I'm gonna get. I paired him up with, let's see if we can see her. I paired him up with a hen. There we go, sorry about the interruption. Okay, what did I pair him up with? Charcoal hen, it's a dark, dark fronted thing. So they tell you to put them to fawns or fawn charcoals and others have told me to put them to charcoal birds. So we'll see how we go. Let's have a look at the next aviary. We won't go in there because it stresses them out too much, but here's where the oriental green finches live. As you can see, it's very densely bushed. I've done that for a reason. Sorry about the double wiring. Let's just have a quick little look in there. Okay, before I put all this extra tea tree in here, these guys would pretty much flap about out of control. Um, as you can see, they're very calm now because they're in the densest part of the tea tree, which is sort of what I wanted to achieve. Doesn't help us at the moment for the purpose of showing you what they look like, but um, they're in the same deal as the siskids. It's about a metre, 1.7 metres deep, about a metre wide, and they're all by themselves. So I really want to give them a shot this year. Okay, let's go back to the big aviary now. Okay, no one followed me into where they shouldn't be. Nope. Alright, I'm just going to pause it now and I'll join you shortly. 
Okay, here we have the bigger Avery's. They're about 2.6 deep by approximately 1,100 wide. So in the furthest one there, where you can see the coconut wire, there's a trio of um, Oriental Green Finches. In the next one, with this little basket, you can just see them now. There's a variety of finches in there. There's a painted and a few pairs of Gouldians, which are going to be moving soon. And you've got a trio of yellow siskins that seem to be, you know, getting along well. And in the aviary I'm in at the moment, I've got my red zebra finch project. Let's have a look at how the babies are going in the nest. I've got nests everywhere, but not much young at the moment, which is a bit of a shame. There was a nest in that bit of brush over there, but every time I come in here, the birds flock there and they've pretty much trampled the nest flat. So I removed three of the young and put them in this box the other day. I left two in there. I'm pretty much 90% certain they're dead. I left them in there because I thought if I put two big ones in this nest here, the smaller babies in this nest won't get a look in when it comes to the feeding. So that's not what we wanted to do. Here we go. Look at that. You've got how many young in there? Six young in there. Pretty much all full crops. Or, and they're full of greens as well. I only put the greens in about an hour ago. So we've got a good hen there. She's feeding them up. It's exactly what we want to see. Okay, so what I won't do is I won't go into the other aviaries. I might go closer to the Oriental Green Finches just to give you guys a little snap, but we won't spend too much time in the other aviaries. As you can see, I've got a mess everywhere. I don't care what anybody tells you about finches. 90% of the work comes from nutrition. So what I'm doing is I'm mixing up my breeding seeds at the moment so that I can get the guys in tip-top condition. So here's where the trio of siskins is going to be living. I'm going to have to more than likely move the Gouldians out. And we'll see how we go next year, or this season anyway. Because there's plenty of room in here for them, but um, more than likely going to have to move the Gouldians out. So I'm going to give the siskins the best chance. Okay, let's go into the Oriental Greenfinch cage. Not much to it. I've got some coastal tree, tea tree spots that I'm looking to raid in the next few days and that's going to be for the same purpose as the other Oriental Greenfinch Avery. I've got to really push this up, A, so that they calm down because they're a very flighty bird as you can see and B, so there's more nesting sites for them. The breeder who gave me the um, male bird told me he'll put four to five females down. I've only got two in here so let's see how we go. have got the nests set up from Bunnings. Got a cup nest in the brush here, and another one over the other side. It's probably a bit early yet, but I figured if I get prepared now, I won't get caught short. It's the first season I've actually had with the guys, so um, the male birds starting to colour up nicely. Not that you can really tell by the speed at which they're flying, but we're all set anyway. So we'll see how we go this breeding season. What I'll do now is I guess I'll sort the breeding seeds out and start mixing and matching and feeding the birds up and then we'll see how we go in a few months time hopefully i'll have another video of some nests to show you it's a bit of a shame that the siskins aren't as vocal as they usually are i bought some yellow siskins from a variety of breeders this year non-stop you hear them singing right through from summer right through to the next summer even in winter they're singing non-stop so probably the best bird i've ever bought doesn't have, they don't have the best song like a green singer or a canary or goldfinch, but you know it's quite pleasant to open up and hear five or six pairs of yellow siskins, or the males anyway, singing every morning. So what we'll do is I'll leave it for now. Hopefully in a few weeks' time I can post another video with these guys while they're actually building a nest or have built a nest, and uh, we'll see how we go this season.